Hey guys! Welcome to the vlog! After almost two years, this is the first time that we are taking the family to another country. Did you have a good flight? I watched TV the whole time. So for today's adventure, let the Bonnies take you to the Lion City. Where's the more lion, guys? The first country I visited outside of the Philippines was actually Singapore. That was back in 2001. Singapore was also Philip's very first out-of-the-country trip. Since my in-laws have moved to Singapore, we have visited them consistently since 2016 to 2018. Universal! Universal! Oi! But I must say that my best SG experience ever was this recent one and here is why. Their food. Chinese, Malay, Indian flavors. What can you ask for, Pa? Their cuisine is bursting with flavors and I did say that I would move to this country for their food. Guys, sobrang sarap dito. Pati yung manggas ko kumain. When in Singapore, do not forget to try eating at Hawkers, Poppy Tiams, Kaya ako nandito sa Yakin Kaya dahil meron ako mga kamiting at ang mga kamiting ko ay ang aking mga friends from IG. Hi! Ayan, hi! hi. Yeah. Hello! Mga nakolekta ko sa Instagram. <laughs> yes. Nina hi. is somebody that I met on Instagram. Tapos sabi niya, i-dinner daw niya ako dito. Sabi ko, sure! Why not? Mahal ang pagkain sa Singapore. Hindi ko tatanggihan yan. <laughs> and try their Peranakan cuisine. For specific restos, try Marche. Calamari and carbonara. This calamari is this big. Oh my gosh. Must have been a giant squid. Okay, no calamari. Wow! The best ever calamari. Parang donut. Can you? Quality na yan. Shucks ang sarap. Pwede na siyang meal on, all on its own. Eh kasi naman nilo, 14 sing. Meal na nga talaga siya. And chatterbox. Oh gosh. Second reason is their transportation system. Ang dali mag-bus, mag-train, madali maglakwat siya. Kind of a big deal ride because Banu, he's been on trains before, yes. but he doesn't really remember because he was like super small. So it's the yung time na super fully conscious na siya. Third reason is their inclusivity and accessibility for all walkers, bikers, and differently abled people all together. Bring walking shoes because there's gonna be like a lot of walking. Maybe even running shoes. I would average about 9,000 steps a day also in Singapore. And I feel like there being a walking city makes it such a healthy environment for all the people living in the country. I'm logging 9,997 steps already on my Apple Watch. And ang buhay is Singapore. Hmm? Charot. Pangalawang araw pa lang. Buhay Singapore na. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Fourth thing on my list is the endless list of activities you can do within the country, both paid and not paid. There are parts lang dito na may bayad, katulad nito, Lazy River. All the rest is for free, like the water park. Pero pang mga age lang ni Manu. All right, you guys, we are here at Gardens by the Bay. What a shot! I'm 
appreciate, just appreciate. I can see a palm tree. Grabe, ang ganda nung ano dito. Park for kids. Yan, no? Wish us luck. Pirates, Philip is supposed to give me at least five names of birds, and Manu will give me at least two, and both of them will get a gift from me that fits my budget. The bird book on me. Seriously, can I see? It's more like pee, I guess. Oh yeah, I think it's pee. Let's go to the flamingo. So what are your birds? Five African birds. penguin, Theocopterus ruber, that's a flamingo. Okay. African hornbill, I think. Great hornbill. And guinea fowl. How about you, Manu? A and a cockatoo. A cockatoo. Very good. You get a gift. So Philip got a game and then Max got a watch. Alright. Show me your watch. Okay, so what time is it in your watch now? Uh, $13. What? $13. $13? Nilalakad ko ng bonggang mabilis yung palabas kasi nag-join-join ako nung parang activity nila na pag isa daw ako sa first 15 na nag-post noon within the day, makahilain ko before 2 yung exclusive collectible. So tingnan natin kung umabot ako. Pero ang laki nito guys, yung mga pinapatulan mo pag isa ka ng inaan, di ba? Medyo amazing race tayo, 128 na. Hi, Dodo! I made it, guys! I made it! It's an exclusive collectible. Wala nang pin. Napaka... Napaka chika lang nung regalo. Pero, wala lang. We're the thrill of it. <laughs> well, among the free things, I'm especially amazed with their free playgrounds that appear everywhere. Oh, di ba? Ang panalo nitong spot namin dito kasi katabi lang niya ay playground. So, ang mga bagets, yeah. ayan, nagpa-play na lang. They have a lot of these things here in Singapore which are for free. This is why it's really like a destination for families. Like the whole nation feels like a theme park. And it's so safe, it's so clean. So, kahit medyo mahal siya, parang sobrang sulit naman siya in that sense. It is so encouraging to see the playground filled with kids even as late as 10 p.m. Is she gonna set a record? Yeah! <laughs> the fifth reason is because of their cultural and historical vibe. Because Singapore has always been the hub and prime location of the world's voyagers, Singapore is so rich with influence since forever. Try to Google their history and listen to the legend of the Mer Lion to understand how they are such a people of immense fortuity and grit combined. Hey! How did you know we were here? <laughs> Definitely not the least. It has been the best because my second born is finally bonded with my in-laws. Manu has never had the chance to really enjoy his nana and tata because the pandemic kept us apart for two years. Yes. 
there's Tata. Oh, wait, our bus is there. Tata is panicking. Go, 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 run! <laughs> Coincidentally, it was also on this trip when Singapore announced that there is no more need to wear masks in the entire nation. Travel and a whole lot of things seem to be going back to some level of normal, and that's great. But as life goes back to its fast-paced mumbo-jumbo, I do hope that whatever we had to end during the pandemic, those that we realize to have not been truly essential in our life, will never go back to the old normal again. Instead, I pray that we take with us the values and truths that were revealed to us in that long season of stillness, even as the pandemic ceases. Which for me would simply be, family is more important than money, health is wealth, life is short, in some cases a little too short and abrupt. So the only thing we can really do is to make sure to seize each day that we can spend with our loved ones.